Hi, my name is Ntabi Seng Mulego. I'm an economic poet and a statistical hit woman. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you stats in this semester. Um, I'm responsible for the course um, at the USB. Right, so what are we actually trying to achieve um, by doing managerial statistics? Of course, we want you to be um, so clever when you leave this place um, that your analytical, analytical capabilities are harnessed such that you can solve really complex problems in the work environment. So that's why we call it managerial statistics. But what I think I must just um, demystify is that what we really want to do with stats is to help you to not be so scared of data and to understand data sets and its behavior but we call it all these you know complex things statistics descriptors probability distributions and uh, confidence intervals but all that saying is what does the data tell me and also we want you to test what we call hypothesis and that means let us test assumptions that people make so you make all these big statements that this is actually what is happening but have you ever tested it so this is what we're going to be doing through the process of the course and uh, one of the other things that we we do quite rigorously is to determine the strength of relationships um, between variables and so forth. So we do that with qualitative and quantitative. Now I'm getting a bit more complex, but some of you may have done, um, you know, finance and some of these numerical things depending on your background, but some of you may not have. Um, but I do want to say that across the board, um, you may be a little bit rough around the edges, but we want to make sure that you make useful interpretation of data um, and make inferences from data um, that make sense in your day-to-day. -day. So, so that's what we're really trying to do um, with managerial statistics. So the question is, how do you best prepare yourself? So as a student, I want to just give you a little, you know, couple of tips. Um, I know that a lot of people um, are fearful when you start talking things like quantitative methods, but there's nothing to fear really. I think the more prepared you are, um, the better equipped you are to actually deal with classes and to get more value, I think, from even your classroom experiences. So remember, prior to coming to classrooms we've got the whole learn smart environment that's going to be on the learning hub so if you haven't read your course outline learn smart pre-class quizzes post-class quizzes these are three things that are components that add up to your total mark so what are we trying to do here um, Prof. Eon Smith and I will obviously teach you in class, but what we expect you to do before coming to class is what we call pre-class pre readings and also pre-class quizzes. So the more you are prepared for those, the better you, you do at those, the more prepared you are to be in the classroom. In the classroom itself you also learn, of course we're there to teach you the theories, the fundamentals for those who have never done statistics before. It is doable. It is not something that you need to have a mind block against. And then after the class we have post-class quizzes and this is also on the eConnect system, the learning hub, and you also make use of um, technology to actually um, get your tests. So we have like pop-up quizzes that are going to come up that you actually do pre and post. And so forth and so I wanted to just explain that the book is actually an ebook that uh, you make use of so we don't have those physical hard copies and I know some of you are really stiffness for that so you can actually get that from the publisher um, but we do avail ebooks for the entire class so it's important that you do prepare because the better prepared you are the less you know um, the less challenged you are and I think even some of the statistical concepts it's just words that you may never have heard before but if you've actually seen them in the textbook it demystifies them right so I think I want to encourage you to do that relax listen in class try and make it applicable in the real world and come prepared I think you'll really get much value out of it the more prepared you are so the question is what's unique about this module except the fact that we try to kill you know I'm joking um, we actually have tutorials um, I don't think it's unique but I do know that um, some of the other numerical type uh, modules have these so we are offering at the end of this course before you have your assessment which is equivalent to what we call a test but assessment is how um, we, we frame it at the USB you actually have a tutorial so that's the entire group you prepare you go through what would it be like in a real life type exam situation and you are taken through with a staff member um, through the tutorial and you complete it um, with the guidance and supervision of staff. So I think that's really helpful but that happens for every one of your groups and I think it's something to look forward to but you only get value from it 
if you're prepared. If you just sit there like you're in a lecture and you think you're going to get value from this tutorial, wasting your time, you really need to, need to put a lot of um, preparation into it so that you can actually get value. And the people that do best in, in usually in statistics are those who are prepared, who try and make an attempt and they fail in these kind of things, tutorials, pre-class quizzes, post-class quizzes, and they actually you see the, the results at the end because they actually put a lot of effort into it. So, the last thing I want to encourage you with. So, there's a guy called Albert Einstein. I think a lot of us know him. He, um, I recently went to a, a conference in Zurich, Switzerland. And uh, I learned at the university where we are having this conference. I was sharing some stuff on pension funds. And uh, he actually was not accepted there. I think at some point. And then he went to another institution. But there was a whole thing around how Einstein was then not really doing so great in mathematics. Can you believe Einstein? He didn't do so great in maths and then he, was, he went next door. So there was the University of Zurich, which is right next door um, to ETH. But the point that I'm trying to make is don't allow your experience um, of statistics from your undergrad or your previous institution to deter you from coming up with the theory of relativity or the quantum theory. So the point is that you can actually do great in statistics here. The experience is different, you are much more mature, you've, you know, you've gone through life and I think that allow it to be a different experience. Be like Einstein, don't allow the kicking out at uh, ETH to determine your University of Zurich uh, quant quantitative theories that you can come up with. We don't know who the next Einstein is, it could be you. <laughs>